Imagine thinking you had a case of bronchitis and then fighting for your life. Acute viral myocarditis is a condition you've probably never heard of, but it can strike otherwise young and healthy people at any time. It's responsible for 5 to 20 percent of all cases of sudden death. Get it. Good catch. Playing catch is precious time the Clems weren't sure they would have. Really, it's the un the the definition of unthinkable that something like this um, would have happened. Just a couple of weeks shy of her 32nd birthday, Monica felt short of breath and her heartbeat was off. It was a like, dun, 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 dun. Since she was recovering from bronchitis, she wrote it off. But later that night... I couldn't fall asleep. I kept feeling that there was something wrong with my heart. When she got up and fainted, her husband called 911. On the way to the hospital, Monica's heart stopped several times. And the doctor came out and, and said, you know, we don't know what's wrong with her. Um, we're going to send her a uh, life fighter over to the med center, but uh, I, I think she's got about a 20% chance of surviving. Dr. Biz Widget Carr was there when she arrived. I wish you could see the state she came in. We all thought she dead. But Dr. Carr saved her and diagnosed her with acute viral myocarditis. Marked by inflammation of the heart muscle, it can strike at any age and is usually diagnosed after death. The difficulty in diagnosis is the failure to recognize that a young adult who walks into your office with cough and shortness of breath has a heart failure. It's often caused by an infection that damages the heart. Symptoms can be flu-like, including dizziness, short of breath, rapid heartbeat, fatigue, or a persistent cough. If symptoms last for more than a few days, see your doctor. There once lived three osos who lived by themselves. Now, two years later, Monica is thankful her story had a happy ending.